guys welcome to my channel mo moon my name is mo welcome tonight is the devil's birthday and i decided to do a video in my deity series so this deity series video will be about anubis anubis is one of the gods that has recently called to me and so i answered his call and i did google a lot of information about Anubis and I will share that with you now. So Anubis is a god of cemeteries. Anubis is an ancient Egyptian god of funerary practices and care of the dead, a man with the head of the jackal. Anubis is a guardian of tombs, protector and guide to the afterlife as well as the patron god of lost souls and the helpless. He is one of the oldest gods of Egypt. His image is often seen on tombs walls for protection. His jackal head is often black, as black symbolizes the decay of the body as well as the fertile soul of the Nile River Valley which represents regeneration and life. Anubis is often seen standing with Osiris, Thoth, or other gods at the wing of the heart of the soul in the hall of truth in the afterlife. In the early times, Anubis was seen as the god of death and master of secrets. That, that which lied beneath death. Anubis is also with his army of messengers charged with punishing those who violate tombs or offended the gods. The priests of Anubis were male and often wore masks of the god made of wood in performing rituals the god cult center was in Upper Egypt at Sinopolis, or the city of the dog, the city of the dog. But there were shrines to him throughout the land, the, um, throughout the land through which he is venerated. Sorry, but there were shrines to him throughout the land though he is venerated in every part of Egypt. Sorry, my notes are a little messy. So, uh, and I wrote the head of the jackal. So this is Anubis with the head of a jackal. And as you see, he is Egyptian. So Anubis, AKA Anup and Inpu. Anub Anubis was heavily worshiped because Despite modern beliefs, he gave the people hope that, that, that their body would be respected and, at death and their soul would be justly judged. He walks between worlds, protecting the dead and ushering them to the afterlife. Guardian of graveyards, Anubis protected the mummies in their tombs. Three important powers of Anubis, superhuman strength, crossing dimensions, energy blast from the eyes. And so that's all I found about Anubis. I know this is a short video, but let me tell you a little bit about how Anubis entered my life. So today is the devil's birthday. Um, and it is May Eve. Tomorrow is May 1st and May 1st is Beltane for pagans for those who honor the wheel of the year, the turning of the seasons. So tomorrow is the height of spring and the beginning of summer, May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere. And Anubis is one of my gods and Anubis would be seen by the Christians and, the, and some of the Abrahamic religions as a devil. And so on this day of the birthday of the devil, I choose to honor Anubis because he is my most recent God that has entered my temple, my, my astral temple, of course. 
And so when I talk about three important powers of Anubis, superhuman strength, crossing dimensions, and energy blast from the eyes, I mean that I went to a secondhand store and I saw this Anubis statue and I knew it was for me because it's absolutely beautiful. How could someone pass the statue up? Let's be honest and here you burn incense because Anubis works with the funerary and the afterlife. So he burns incense in the souls of judgment um, court. So Anubis here looks to the side he is looking to his side and one of his superhuman strength strengths is energy blast from the eyes. And after I bought this Anubis statue, which was like four or five Canadian dollars at the secondhand store, I started to realize that Anubis was working in my favor. favor. And as with any god or goddess, who knows why they call us pagans to be a part of their story. But Anubis called me to be a part of his story. And I purchased the statue with ecstasy in my heart. And I decided to li listen to a song that I thought would honor Anubis on the way home. And then I started to realize the next day that Anubis was... Um, getting rid of the evil eye. So Anubis is a god that transmutes the evil eye for his um, servant. Um, me being the servant, and I know you may or may not believe in worship, but I do worship my gods and goddesses, and I do honor them as being higher than me. How could a god not be higher than me? Um, I am a god, it's true, but my gods and goddesses have already been through the lessons that I've been through. So I honor them in knowing that they can teach me how to get through to the lessons and how to succeed. So I started to realize that Anubis was taking the evil eye that was sent to me and that he was charging himself with it. And every time I would look to my side, I would picture Anubis. And I knew that he was taking the evil eye that was sent to me and that he was using it to empower himself. And that is one of the protections as a, of Anubis. If Anubis wants to work with you, you can know that he will take the evil eye that is sent in your direction and then he will gain um, power from it and that in gaining power from the evil eye he empowers himself anubis can transmute the evil eye into power for himself and that is why he chooses the people that will uh, accept him as their god because he knows that they receive a lot of evil eye and i receive a lot of evil eye i mean obviously you know i'm not the most ugly person on the block you know i'm 43 years old i don't look 43 uh, i take good care of my health i take good care of my body i work out regularly i eat well so it's normal that i may not i might not age as fast as the normal 43 year old so i get a lot of evil eye because people think that i'm young and they think that i'm ignorant but anubis anubis uh, the god anubis takes the evil eye and he uses it to energize himself and that is one of his important powers which is energy blasts from the eyes and that's what the evil eye is the evil eye is an energy blast from the eyes. It is a look that I'm sure you know if you're somebody who is well aware of it, a look that is evil towards a certain person. And Anubis will turn his head, receive the energy and empower himself just like that. So that is what I have to say about Anubis, the god Anubis, who is one of my gods um, among many. I am polytheistic. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Anubis. This is his statue that I bought at a secondhand store. Um, as you see here, I bought this for $4. So $4 Canadian. So um, that's not much. And that's how I knew Anubis was calling to me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one, but it's one of my deities a series videos. So you can check out my other two deities. I have Santa Morte and Pan, but I have many more deities and that work with me. So hopefully I will eventually have the opportunity to create a video about them too. But this one's about Anubis. Let me know what you know about Anubis. See you in my next video. Bye.